storm started by accident that's brought decades of happiness is coming to an end. The fields will be a bit more empty at Carlson's Lovable Llamas. It's because Karen Scullin is going to take them all home, I think. <laughs> she brings us the story of a farmer that says llamas changed his life, but it's time to hang up his overalls. When it rains, llamas kind of have a bad hair day. But their lashes are still long, their ears still tall, and Zorro could care less yeah. about any of it. Um, he's Rick Carlson's favorite. Oh, he's just so friendly, he's just so docile. Um, you know, little kids can take him for a walk like nothing. Rick has 105 llamas at Carlson's lovable llama farm. And that number happened by accident when he started the 4-H Llama Project 16 years ago. Every year we'd get more 4-H kids who'd sign up for the project and I'd go buy more llamas. And the next year we'd get more kids and I'd buy more llamas or, or have some babies. And as much as Rick loves llamas, he loves the kids even more, making his pending retirement bittersweet. That's been the rewarding part. It's just been so rewarding to see how these kids uh, grow and mature. So why llamas? Well, they make little to no sound, except this guy. They don't smell. Their poops are very low odor. They're gentle, they're cute, they're funny. They like people and people just like oh, them. Oh, hello! <laughs> you just ate! <laughs> Llamas were an easy fit into 4-H. Rick loved the club as a child, and having llamas enabled him to give back. When we can make people happy, that makes us happy. With retirement, it's the end of llama birthday parties. His 4-H work will be minimal, and llama yoga is done. But he will still do weddings. Yes, there are requests for llamas at weddings. Uh, this one did walk down the aisle one on that one wedding. Really? Never had a purpose, just walked down the aisle. Just because. Yeah. And he might still do nursing home and school visits. But enough is enough. Every now and then you, you hear that, that terminology that success of a business is also the downfall of a business. That is really what's happened here. I mean, it's just gotten so popular and so busy and so successful. You just can't keep up with it all. With that, Rick's hanging up his llama leash. His llama love will continue. It's just all changing course. There you go. In Waconia, Karen Scullin, Box 9. Oh, <laughs> blessings to you, Rick. Blessings Gosh, to you. That was awesome. I know. I mean, what there really story. is something just so lovable. They just yeah. put a smile on your face. Yeah.